Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for our second lesson in your Eat Well, Play Hard series. So today we are going to be talking all about the vegetable group. Before we do that, though, can you remember what we talked about last time? Hmm. You're right. We talked about manners. We talked about physical activity and we talked about my plate and why it's important to eat all of the different foods. So today we'll focus just on our vegetable group and we're going to start by playing a little game. Who's ready? In this bowl, I have a bunch of different vegetables and I'm going to describe them and you have to guess what they are. So the first vegetable, the first vegetable, they're all cold because they were in the refrigerator, but the first vegetable is really smooth on the outside. Oh, and the first vegetable has a little green stem on the top and the vegetable itself is red. So it's smooth and red with a little green stem on the top. And if I were to cut it open, it has a ton of little white seeds on the inside. It's really sweet when I taste it. All right, does anybody have any guesses? Say them out loud if you do. If you're not sure, tell me if you know what this is. You're right, it's a red pepper. Red peppers are very, very high in vitamin C. Everybody do this. Vitamin C helps you fight away germs and fight away colds so you don't get sick as often. Oh, that's so good for us. All right, let's see what else I have in this bowl. Hmm, this next vegetable is really small and it's green. It's long, it's about two inches long, so maybe about this long. And there's seeds on the inside that I can eat because this vegetable is actually a pod. Inside the pod, there are little round green balls. What could I possibly be talking about? That's right, it's a pea, a sugar snap pea. And sugar snap peas have a lot of fiber. Rub your belly like this, fiber to keep you feeling full. And they're green, and green fruits and vegetables also help our bones and our teeth stay strong. Isn't that cool? All right, let's see what else I have in here. Are you ready to guess? This next one, can you hear it? It almost feels like it has paper on the outside that I have to peel away before I eat it. And once I open it, it's white on the inside, and sometimes it actually makes me want to cry. Does anybody know what it is? You're right. It's an onion. Onions are really, really good in different dishes for dinner. If your family uses onions and you're not sure if you like them, keep trying them because they give everything so much flavor. Onions are one of my favorite, favorite vegetables. All right, I only have two different vegetables left in my bowl. This next one's a little tricky. So this one is white and it's pretty small and it's very smooth. Like it, it almost feels like if I were to picture petting a whale, it actually feels like what I think whale skin would feel like. And that's just what I think. So this is actually a fungus and it grows in the ground and a lot of kids don't like it. But you know why a lot of kids don't like it? Because they're afraid to try it. Once you try it, like we talked about last time, you'll probably realize that you like it. Again, like the onion, it's one of Miss Emily's favorite, favorite foods. Does anybody have any idea what I could possibly be talking about? A mushroom. Mushrooms are really, really healthy for you and really, really tasty. They're much better when they're cooked in a food. So if your parents use mushrooms and you pick them out, your job is to now try them and be brave and adventurous. Does anyone like mushrooms? Give me a thumbs up if you do. I'm so happy to see that. All right, I have three things left in my bowl, but it's only one vegetable. It's one type of vegetable and it comes in many different colors. So one of the colors is orange, one of the colors is yellow, and one of the colors is purple. Hmm, I think the orange one is the one that you probably eat most often. You have maybe never tried a purple or a yellow one. They're long, like this long. They grow underground and Bugs Bunny the rabbit loves to eat them. Does anybody want to guess what they are? Let's see. 
They are, you got it, carrots. They come in orange, purple, and yellow. Isn't that cool? So let's talk about nutrients a little bit more. Nutrients are the vitamins and minerals that are in your vegetables that help your body stay healthy, strong, and move in. So as we talked about some of them a minute ago, let's talk about a few more. Carrots have a lot of vitamin A in them, and vitamin A does something for your body. What do you think vitamin A could possibly do for you? Oh yeah, you're right, it helps your eyes. So vitamin A is super good for you. It's in a lot of different vegetables. All vegetables have fiber. Rub your belly again. Fiber keeps you feeling full. It keeps you focused and it keeps you happy. Nobody likes it when your stomach is grumbling. So the more fruits and vegetables you eat, the more fiber you get, the fuller you will stay. All right, and let's see. A lot of the vegetables we talked about too have that vitamin C to help us fight away colds and fight away germs. We don't wanna be sick. So eat those healthy fruits and vegetables to keep your body feeling healthy and strong along with helping your immune system. Remember, wash those hands like I showed you last class to also help keep those germs away. All right, so now I think it's time to read a story. So today we're going to read a story about vegetables. Stay tuned. One Bean by Anne Rockwell and illustrated by Megan Halsey. And it's being read aloud with permission from Bloomsbury Publishing. I had one bean. It was dry and smooth and hard. Who's ready for another physical activity to get our bodies moving and our heart pumping? I know I am. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make up a story and the story is going to have some actions that go along with it. So when you're listening to my story, think about what you could do to show the actions that I'm talking about. The story will be about apple picking on a farm. All right. One day, I was walking through the apple orchard on the beautiful farm, and I saw an apple tree way in the distance. So I started going a little faster because I was getting excited about those big, juicy, red apples. So I started running as fast as I could possibly run. And then all of a sudden, there was a hole. Whoa, so I had to stop and I had to jump over a huge hole in front of me. So when, once I started jumping, I realized there were lots of holes. So I had to jump over all of the holes on the farm ground all the way until I got to the apple tree. So keep jumping because we're not there yet. All right, now I made it to the apple tree and I looked up and it was full of big, bright, juicy red apples. So I started to pick them. I started to pick as many big, red juicy apples as I could and I had to put them in my bucket and I had to pick them and put them in my bucket and pick them and put them in my bucket and once the bucket got filled I had to lift it up and I started walking back to my house but as I was walking my arms started to get so tired so I put the bucket on my head and once that bucket was up on my head all of a sudden there was a dog and the dog started chasing me. So I had to run as fast as I could all the way back to my house with a huge bucket of apples on my head. And I had to run faster and faster and faster because he was coming, he was behind me. And finally I got to the house and I slammed the door shut. I put my apples down and then I got to enjoy. Whew, is anyone else's heart beating a little bit more than it was before? Well, that's a good thing. That means you did physical activity. That means that you worked your body. All of the food you eat gives you the energy to play and have fun. So remember, work your body every single day and don't forget to drink your water too. All right, so thanks for joining us today for our second Eat Well, Play Hard lesson. I hope that you had fun today and I hope that you learned a lot about vegetables. So let's review. You learned how vegetables grow in the story we read. You learned how vegetables have a lot of different vitamins and minerals in them. And also you learned that we should be eating all of these healthy foods to keep our bodies strong and full and focused. So I have a little activity that I want you to do before you watch my next video. I want you to draw a picture of a rainbow and I want you to put it on your refrigerator. And every time you eat a color on that rainbow, 
I want you to either draw a picture of what you ate near the color on the rainbow or have a parent help you write the name of the fruit or vegetable you ate that was that specific color. So every time you go to the refrigerator, you will see your rainbow and you'll be able to see how well you're doing with eating all the different colors to get all those nutrients and healthy things into your body. Can you do that for me? I know you can. So I will see you in our next lesson. Our next lesson is all about fruit. So please be ready to talk about fruit next time. We'll see you soon.